So now we get on to the loot, or what I got during um, Anime USA 2010 in Arlington. So um, these are, these are going to be in two groups actually. So I'm gonna do it this way. Um, so there was a trade, not not a trade show, but like a trade fest where people brought in posters, old figures, and a lot of stuff in uh, to trade. And I went there with two things: my common rider, common rider Keteros from the SH Figure Art from um, Kabuto, and my my. Um, Orange Zaku Gashapon that I got recently, and I'm trying to do a review of either, but there isn't going to be a review anymore since I don't have them anymore. So, but in place of that, I'll show you what I got. But I think first I show you what I got for free, just for being there and answering yes to the question: Do you want? Do you want this? First, this um, I'm not going to unfold it because it's a pain to refold, uh, but it's a X, the X-Files movie poster from 97 that I got for free. It's a it's a kind of a small one, but it's nice. It, it shows a modern Scully sitting and light, and their shadows make an, an X, which is the movie poster. So I got that for free. So pretty nice. And, you know, if whoever t gave this to me sees this, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. I'm a huge fan of X-Files. Uh, next, that I got for free are two VHS's. Sakura Wars 1 and 2. Um, I've actually never watched this and didn't even know where it was until I read the description after the guy gave it to me. So I'm gonna read it, I'm gonna watch it. If I like it, I'll keep it. If I don't, I'll give it to someone else or use it at the trade show next year or sometime. But, um, so this is about like steam-powered uh, mechas. So, I, I mean, it is mecha, so I'm sure I'm gonna like it, but it looks kind of, um, with this shot, at least, it looks very Sentai-based, you know, five robots. Especially that shot, too. Okay, it's a pink D.O., practically. That's what I'm seeing, at least. Okay, right there. Pink D.O. Nothing. So, that's what I got for free. Let's, so, let's put this over here. Next, um, for the orange cashapon of the the goof the goof ignited that was um, um, west of flues that orange goof, I got two things. I only expected to get one, but the guy was kind enough to give me two. One is um, this over here, which is a Nintendo wristband with the Honky Kong from the original Mario game, or so here's Donkey Kong, you know, angry. And um, it, although he said, although it was open, he said he never wore it. Uh, it just, it just tore open when uh, he tried to take off the sticker. So, and I have friends who are big fans of uh, video gaming, and I mean, I don't really wear these, but I'm g I, I'm, I think it would be a nice gift for them sometime. So, I'm going to put that to the side. The next one is a little preface on this. I am not. I do. I, although I do like Nardo, I'm not a big fan. I haven't been. Ca I haven't been caught up yet. But I am in. Uh, in my my. I, w I was in my high school and called and I am in my college's band. So I got the the music the music um, headband quote, but it's an armband for myself. This is you know again I'm a fan of band and music, so I thought this was very appropriate for me. So, that's what I got for the orange gashapon, which I thought was more than enough for the little gashapon I gave him. Next, um, for, what's it called? For the SH Figure Arts, um, I got two things. One is the Mobile Suit Gundam Display Model RX-78 Verka, or version Katoki. Um, I didn't really know the price of this or anything like that, but I thought it's mint, mint in package, sealed and everything. I, I haven't even taken it out yet, and I'm looking a at a lot of the features here. And it's, I looked, I actually ended up looking up on Hobby Link Japan how much it was worth, and it was about 15, but it's discontinued, and probably not being run production. So it's, I'm thinking it's a pretty rare model. Um, 
give you a tour around the box real quick for a car. You get the Hyper Bazooka Beam Savers 2. Uh, bazooka mount parts. I guess that goes on the shoulder. I'm not too sure. Um, and and I guess the back skirt. Two hands left and right. A core fighter. The shield and beam rifle, and then the Gundam itself in Verka form, which I actually do like the way it looks. Um, I don't know. It's odd. Let's see if I can find a year on this. Mm, I wish I could get, tell you guys like a year when it was made, but I'm not seeing one. But yeah, so I got this. Um, I'm kind of willing to trade this also. I know Ed likes to trade, especially for old figures. But um, if he wants to trade, talk to me about it. Uh, I'm not positive if I, if I do want to. So if I say no or not yet, please don't hold it against me. Um, and this, and also something else, which is attached to something else that I, uh, that I bought. So on the arm of this particular figure is this nice... Um, bracelet with roses and leaves and little jewels um, and I thought this was going to be very nice and I'm going to end up giving this along with the figure that's attached to to my girlfriend for our anniversary and the figure that I bought was the Toro doll it's um I will say it's not that accurate but I mean it is a Toro doll it and it is, um, it's, pre it's pretty soft. I mean, it, it does, it's, it's, it's going to be pretty comfortable too for her to sleep with and stuff like that. So yeah, four leaf clover or something like that, a leaf. So yeah, this is what I'm going to give her on our anniversary. Hopefully she doesn't see this before today. Or, you know, before, the, before I, I give it to her. Okay, so I got that and the bracelet. Now for the loot I actually bought. So again, this. Um, I will say... It was a bit more expensive than I thought, but um, I expected it, and it, I'm sure it's going to be worth it when it, when the time comes. But yeah, it is very nice. Um, again, not too accurate, but I'm glad I got it, because I know she'll love it. Um, let's see this. Let's leave it there. Okay, the next two things. Um, I ended up talking to this guy, to um, a dealer for about half an hour about stuff. Like He explained to me why we weren't seeing as many uh, revolt techs at the show and how much what's happening around stuff like he told me about stuff about, about bluefin that, that I never really realized or thought about so here so and but he had a few kits but none that I really wanted so in order to help his business and stuff I bought a keychain or, or a phone chain and that's what I'm going to use it for for my phone and it's a little, so here's a dog tag, a little thing, and the shield that Ava Unit Zero used. And you get a head of, a, of the unit. What I think this is, though, is if you get this other sets, you get other parts of this. So you eventually you get a full figure. But I only bought one, it's only the head. And I'm going to attach this to my phone later on, you know be like one of those people, I guess. Or my keys, or give it to someone, who knows. And I paid about $6 for that. And, you know, again, it was to help his business, and I feel, uh, I'm pretty satisfied with it. So I'm just gonna put that over there. I also got, get some clear decals for stickers, behind there with nerve and stuff, so I end up using those on something else. Next, are the more, the, I guess the more important things. Um, which is model kits. So I looked around, I looked around for about half an hour and until I decided what I wanted to get. I will say a, a lot of things were more expensive than I expected and none of the kids that I really wanted were there slash therefore cheap enough, I guess, in my opinion. So I was actually looking for the Rizel, um reg high grade UC and they were selling for 32 for a $20 model where I could get it from Hollywood Japan with the EMS shipping soon. You know, I just have to wait a little bit more, which just isn't really a problem. So I decided to wait on that. But I spent my my money on other things. First, the O Gundam. This is the non-ACD type. I don't know what to call it. The original when it first came out. 
with the GN feathers. And um, this is actually going to be used for a custom kit. I'm not going to be. I'm going to be painting this in another scheme. I'll give you. I'll give you a clue. It's not going to be the RX78 two scheme because that'd be kind of a waste of money. Although I, I would get the feather this way. But I'll give you a full unboxing later, and you'll see my project later. So one model kit. And the next one I am extremely happy about. Um, so, let's see, how am I going to introduce this? The high grade UC Rezel, uh, not Rezel, but REGZ. The reformed, I guess, uh, Gundam Zeta. Now, I will say that I bought this kind of on impulse, but in my opinion, for a very good reason. And, okay, so, the price is... 2800 yen. That's retail, Strata Japan. At conventions, I usually add about $10, I guess, $10, $15 to the price. So that, if you, even if you did a 100 yen per dollar difference, it'd be 28 plus $10, which is $38. I ended up getting this for $15, which, are, which is about a third of the price. For a unit, I actually do like. It wasn't an impulse, uh, that much of an impulse pur purchase. Sorry about that. So, I do like this suit, especially because of the way that Amuro uh, handled it in Charles Counterattack. So I got a kit for half the retail value here in the United States, which I'm very happy about. Um, I have heard that um, the the REGZ kits aren't that good that they are very um like clunky I guess as because of the back weapon system that you see back there when it's in the wave rider mode but we'll see what I do um most likely I will be repainting this in a certain color scheme I actually do not know yet what I'm gonna do with it I'm thinking a high new new um what else Zeta uh, Rezel color scheme that's another one I thought of um, there are plenty of other color schemes. It, the, uh, the reason I don't think I can do this one is because of the the greenish shade that this comes with, with and also the Jigon comes with. Which I still need to get that suit because I love the j the Jigon. But again, high grade Universal Century, REGZ, a box the size of a Master Grade. For fifteen dollars, which is about half retail and a third of convention, I, what I would call a, the convention price. So that is what I got at the convention. Um, I am actually kind of really happy with what what how it turned out. Um, this is one I did not expect to get. Um, it is something I'm still looking at, see if I want to keep it, see if I want to sell it. So I mean, give me your best offer, and I'll think about it. I got some stuff for free, although, you know, again, I haven't, I've never even heard of this show, although it has Mecha and it's steampunk, so I might like it a little more than I think I, I will. O Gundam for my custom color scheme, which I actually haven't seen, but I guess maybe I'm using the wrong terms to search for it. But, uh, yeah, so I'll give you guys the full unboxing of these two kits later, and, um... Thank you for watching, and be sure to watch my review of U Anime USA 2010. Thank you very much.